is SAX is Dark Samus starting on Stadium 2. Let's get it. This is a matchup where we have a zone breaker extraordinaire in Sonic who can also play very defensively against a slower, more methodical projectile character in Samus. But that playstyle is one where a thoughtful player like SAX can go ahead and shine with. But right now, Blue Striker hitting all these buttons. SAX unable to get so much as a charge shot going. Gets him up B out of a disadvantageous position. Blue Striker now showing that he doesn't need to rush in. He's just kind of going ahead and using his vertical momentum to bait out that charge shot very expertly. Trying to get any kind of a punish right there is SAX. Great cross-up with that up air from underneath the shield. Getting it looked like a little bit of a poke. Another up air too, forcing SAX into an awkward spot. Forward smash not quite going to land, but great option. SAX put on a little bit of notice. Great point flank shot though. That is one heck of a response. And this is kind of the awkward spot where Blue Striker, you can keep running in with up airs and dash attacks, but you're going to have to hit something a little bit harder because you do not want to give Samus rage. This is a character that can kill you early and unexpectedly. Another upbeat, but Blue Striker falls out of it and is gifted a free back air right there. That's a bit of an awkward spot for SAX, but also, I gotta give props. It looks like Blue Striker SDI'd that perfectly. SAX trying these long range charge shots, and I think that that's not really gonna work that well against a character like Sonic. This is a character that can go ahead and run circles around you. He's definitely gonna be able to avoid those easy, reactable projectiles. Blue recovers low, just double jumps away. SAX fiending for that up air, just misses it by pixels. Blue looked like he was trying to parry that missile, not quite working out, but does land a couple good hits on SAX. More damage, he goes for the down air. Really aggressive, I love it in a spot like that when you're up this much. Now this is the point where Blue Striker, he has a lead, he doesn't feel pressed. SAX doing his best to try to land some kind of a killing blow, but right now it's going to be Blue Striker landing that forward smash to take an even bigger lead, and this is the problem against Sonic. If you are down and you really start pressing, this is a character that can just open you up with movement alone. He does not need to hit buttons. But he's doing it anyway. Again, SAX getting hit hard with these low percent combos. Terror Dodge gets the dash attack, but it is a very weak hit. Can't get any edge trapping going. SAX has had no success at all in game one so far. <laughs> that point blank range missile, though, I dig that option. A little bit of a cheeky one right there. Good up throw. Blue Striker a little bit too complacent in shield, and SAX reacts appropriately. Look at the damage. The charge shot already dealing like 30% right there. But it may very well be too little too late. SAX, no double jump. Has to use the more falls. Has to go ahead and bury his momentum. Great tether. And just quick jump right there by Striker. Just recognizing that SAX has two options right here. Cancel the charge shot or fire it away. And either one of those is just going to put me in an advantageous spot from above SAX. Barely missing that parry was SAX gets carried off to the forward air, still trying to charge, but the double jump called out again by Blue Striker. He seems to have caught on to SAX's habit. When he's in disadvantage, the man seems to like to double jump to recover himself from tumble and then to put himself above his opponent where he can charge up projectiles, but that did not work. Twice in a row, Blue Striker got it, and that last stock, SAX could not afford that mistake. Going on to game two, SAX is bringing it right back to the same stage, so saying that it's just my play style that I need to go ahead and adapt. I just need to play better. There's no necessarily a long stage may not work out for me because it just means that Blue Striker's gonna have more room to run. But right now, Blue Striker, he's not running. He is throwing hands. Already going for back airs here. He's not choosing to extend the combos with forward air because he wanted to go ahead and try for an early kill, and again, SAX in a spot where he could have been aggressive, he could have even been defensive, and chose an air dodge, and he just didn't either, and Blue Striker gets a really early stop. Good dash attack though, SAX seizing control of edge, but Blue manages to get center stage and a couple solid hits. That's not really the problem with Sonic, or fighting up against Sonic when you have a character like Samus that really likes to go ahead and just do loose hits, doesn't really string together a ton of combos, is that if
David Kraft from SAX, forward throw, so another edge trapping situation, no! Blue just goes high and SAX is unable to punish, whips the forward air. Does get the fully charged, but yeah, Blue saw that a mile away, just up being immediately, do not want any part of that awkward spot. That's always unfortunate against uh, any of Sonic's moves, where you go ahead and get the parry on the first hit, and the second or third one knocks you out. Back air does seal off that stock, so SAX not too much of a disadvantage. Great charge shot, recognizing that Blue was going to go ahead and be a little bit aggressive the minute that he thinks Samus is uh, offstage in an awkward situation. You can only up air and air dodge in that situation when you go ahead and use that spring and double jump. So SAX has to do a really good job of just snuffing out Striker when he extends himself that high. SAX starting to bring this back. Like, this is not at all beyond their own possibility, but no, he double jumps in and tries to forward air. But Blue Striker using the Hurt Box manipulation, that up smash you reel back just a little bit. And that was great space in causing SAX to whip his forward air. Up tilt not working out. SAX a little bit too optimistic with that up B. Perhaps thought the Blue was going to jump back in. Now look at this. This was so close, and now SAX is almost a kill percent. I don't think he, he did use his double jump right there, but back here again, Blue Striker. Putting on a clinic of showing how Sonic can be aggressive when your opponent is cornered, and once they've exhausted all of their resources. Okay, we've got a good match coming up for y'all. We've got Electro versus Zage stepping